Sinead O'Connor has been hospitalized following the disappearance and death by suicide of her teenage son last week. The singer, 55, said she was going to the hospital Thursday after posting a lengthy message on Twitter earlier that day saying she had decided to follow, her, son. In a Thursday morning tweet, the Nothing Compares to You singer wrote, There is no point living without him, referring to her son, Shane O'Connor everything I touch, I ruin I only stayed for him and now has gone I've destroyed my family my kids don't want to know me. In a follow-up tweet she shared late Thursday, Sinead apologized, writing, I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that I am with cops now on way to hospital. She continued, I'm sorry I upset everyone I'm lost without my kid and I hate myself hospital will help a while but I'm going to find Shane this is just a delay. Sinead first shared the news of her son's death Jan 7 Shane, who was 17, died after going missing, Sinead posted on Twitter last week. My beautiful son, Naveem Nista Ali Shane O'Connor, the very light of my life, decided to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God, Sinead wrote at the time may he rest in peace and may no one follow his example my baby I love you so much please be at peace. Sinead shared Shane with musician Donal Lunny she is also a mom to three other children, Jake, Roshan and Yeshua. Sinead's hospitalization comes after years of mental health struggles recounting her traumatic childhood, she told People in May 2021 that she had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, complex post-traumatic stress disorder and borderline personality disorder. In 2015, she underwent a radical hysterectomy to treat endometriosis, and was triggered following the surgery, she said she later spent time in psychiatric facilities following the procedure. After the procedure, O'Connor would sometimes post alarming cries for help on social media, I have taken an overdose, she announced on Facebook in 2015. I was mental, she admitted, referring to her struggles with mental illness but I don't regret those embarrassing videos and quite proud, in a weird way, that I was that open the nature of a singer is to be emotionally honest I've always been pretty open and I have no regrets. Today, O'Connor has bi-weekly check-ins with her medical team. You can never predict what might trigger the PTSD. I describe myself as a rescue dog, I'm fine until you put me in a situation that even slightly smells like any of the trauma I went through, then I flip my lid, she says I manage very well because I've been taught brilliant skills there was a lot of therapy it's about focusing on the things that bring you peace as opposed to what makes you feel unstable. Sinead postponed scheduled shows in November 2020 as she sought help for addiction and trauma, she shared on Twitter at the time. I had a very traumatic six years and this year was the end of it but now recovery starts, she wrote in a since deleted tweet, adding, this year I lost someone beloved and has affected me so badly that I became briefly addicted to a drug other than weed. Sinead said she grew up with a lot of trauma and abuse I then went straight into the music business and never learned really how to make a normal life, never took proper time to heal wasn't ready to either.
The singer said entering treatment was a step toward making a life I am happy in. If taking this step means my career is over then so be it as Mary Oliver says, I must save the only life I can, she wrote.